Hi, welcome back to Cross Talk Podcast. I'm Tomia. Hi, I'm Andrea. Hey, Halloween is coming up. Yes, I just realized it's almost the end of October. And I have no decorations. I have nothing ready to go. Me neither. Aww. So the day I upload this episode is going to be the Halloween day. Really? Okay. Well, happy Halloween to our listeners. Yeah.、Woo. This year、mm-hmm. in Shibuya, things are going to be a bit different. There are new rules about drinking on the street. Oh, okay. I think I heard about this. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Okay. So, before we get into the, this topic, how do you usually celebrate Halloween? Well, in Japan, I don't. <laughs> oh.、Um, when my children were smaller, we sometimes would host a trick or treat, or we would go with、um, like a kid's group that、mm. did a Halloween party. But now that I'm older and my kids are kind of grown up, we don't really do anything.、Mm-hmm. Um, I used to just decorate the house with. Like, decorate the Gencon area with Halloween themed things.、Mm. In America, it's a big deal. Like, kids, young kids up until maybe junior high, always dress up in really great costumes that are very creative. A lot of people make their own costumes、um, from scratch, and they're really clever. And、mm. then in the evening, they'll go around and trick or treat. And get lots of candy from their neighbors.、Mm-hmm. It's just a fun, it's a really fun thing to do. Nice. Yeah, it's really good. I don't do anything on this holiday Halloween. Really? I thought you would watch a horror movie or watch something、uh-huh, scary at least. That's a nice, yeah, that, that would be <laughs>、uh, my new tradition,、uh-huh. I guess. <laughs> But、uh, I don't personally do anything. But、uh, I have talked with my private student. She's from. Ehime Prefecture. Okay. And there's a small festival here and there, like similar to Trick and Treat. Oh, really? In Ehime? In Ehime Prefecture. Is it a new thing, like a Halloween tradition, or is it a traditional thing? It's a traditional thing. Oh, that's neat. Like a children、mm-hmm. wear some kind of a, like a monster ish costume. Okay. And they visit their neighbors. And then, you know, I don't know how to ask, but they ask trick or treat things. Okay. And get the money from the neighbors. They get money? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's better than candy. Yes. <laughs> so she s a y ah, this is a season for collecting money. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Yes. Ooh, I didn't, I've never heard of that. I have friends from Mehime too, and I've never heard of them.、Mm. Like a day wear a costume like a shishimai or something. That's okay. Oh, I'm going to ask my friends about this. That's,、yeah. that's pretty neat. But a Halloween in Shibuya is completely different. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Yes. Like,、uh, you know, people go, go out, drink a lot on the street, everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so the public drinking is going to ban, or it's already banned. I mean, I think it's already banned. I think it's already banned too. I think I heard that it was starting this month.、Oh, this month, okay. So, I think? Yeah.、Mm. People can't drink from 6 to 5, 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. in a specific area. In, in Shibuya. Shibuya.、And Okay, that is actually probably a good idea, in my opinion.、Mm-hmm. Um, because we're, n- like, as Western people, like Americans, we are not allowed to drink in public in America.、Um, and so a lot of people take advantage of that when they're here in Japan、mm-hmm. um, and they get really drunk out in public.、Mm-hmm. Um, but also, like, Japanese young people, too, a- and older people as well. Like, there's a huge drinking culture in Japan.、Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, so, like for holidays like this, where it's not only acceptable, it's kind of expected that you're going to drink a lot, it, it's probably better to ban it.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the reason of ban d、mm. at the instant in 2018, some people are flipped over a truck. Ah, yeah, I remember that. Yes. The more tourists drinking on the street, and a number of these people were increasing, and then it's a doubled from last year. Oh,、like. my goodness. So it like doubles every year. Oh,、uh, my goodness.、So. And that's、yeah. a huge, yeah, that's a huge number of people anyway. Yes. 
and of course local shops and residents are complaining yeah i can understand that it must be really annoying yes so the funny fact is even the government local government i mean tokyo governor or whoever said uh, there's no penalty there's no penalty on this there should be yeah but seems like there's not if i'm correct this is the thing like japanese police don't often give penalties for things like this or like for riding your bicycle incorrectly and you know i've been stopped on my bicycle so i know mm. unfortunately they didn't give me any penalty which i'm happy about but it's it's not a good way to get people to stop doing the bad behavior yeah they should penalize people who break the rule right I just guessing they're they're busy for something else and they can't give a penalty to these people right away. I don't know. I don't know the process of these. Anyway, it's not really helpful for stopping. Okay. Yeah, just like with penalties, I think like for example, comparing Japanese and American police systems, like we get more penalties in America. Mm. We have more crime, of course, but giving people penalties is a way to like discourage bad behavior right and so even like if the police in japan would give a small penalty like two thousand yen or something like reasonable mm -hmm. that would even like even that would would stop people from acting poorly in public and like you know the the mayor of shibuya saying don't come mm -hmm. we're gonna block the street off don't come but last year i think people came anyway mm-hmm um, or they just moved the location down the street or something. I don't really remember. But that would, like, having a small penalty would help stop that, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe they should call GA Tai or something. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if it were a riot, yes, they could do that. But I don't think it's a riot. Uh, makes sense. Well, also, like, I noticed last year this Halloween party kind of got banned, they tried to get banned. They tried to ban it in Shibuya last year. Mm -hmm. Is it Shibuya or Shinjuku? Or both? Uh, both. Both, right? Uh, they tried to ban this Halloween party in Shibuya and Shinjuku last year. But then, like, these, these parties just pop up in other cities. Like, now there's one in Osaka. And yes. we actually have one here in Okayama, too. Yes. And it is a problem for the police um, because the streets are narrow. The station is not very big, but they, they do this at the station. So it kind of disrupts JR service. Yeah. And it blocks road traffic. Mm -hmm. It blocks pedestrian traffic, like people trying to get through the station on foot. And then you've got people like drinking and throwing up and throwing trash all over the, you know, the front of the station. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a lot of trouble. Right, right. It's kind of fun, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting, but it does cause trouble. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> yes. As you say, we have a small uh, central station here in Okayama. Mm -hmm. And uh, people literally coming from far from the central Okayama. Yeah, I don't know where they're coming from, but uh, I think all over the region, because I've seen people in the train dressed up in their costumes going to and from the Okayama Halloween party. So yeah, like people come from far away to do this. Yes. It's, it's young people. It's not everybody who lives here. It's mostly like high school kids and university aged people. It's mm -hmm. not people our age. Right. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, you'd be surprised how strict other countries are about buying alcohol compared to Japan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know a lot of countries, but like just speaking from my own country, USA, mm -hmm. it's very strict. Yeah. Uh, you have to have a special license in order to sell any kind of alcohol. Yes. And like how, how like people are not allowed to, you know, drink out in public, which we mentioned already. Um, and like even restaurants, only a certain number of restaurants in an area can serve alcohol inside the restaurant. So mm. it is very, very strict. Mm. And we don't sell alcohol in most places on Sundays and nothing mm. on Sundays. Everything closes down on Sundays. And some states have areas like counties 
where they never sell alcohol, period. Mm -hmm. It's called a dry county. Dry county. Yeah, like it's prohibited to sell alcohol in the county whatsoever. So yeah, like even in America, it can be very strict. Oh, that sounds very strict. Yeah. I don't know. What do you, th what do you know? Do you know about any other countries? I know a little bit about Thailand. Oh. They have days you can't buy any alcohol. Like it's a celebration of something. Okay. You know, it's a holiday. Um, of course, there's a stores where it sells alcohol secretly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So people go there and buy and get lots of beers and, you know, booze. Yeah, actually, I bought some beers at the local supermarket secretly uh, in Thailand. Why secretly? Because it's literally prohibited on the day. You, you know, oh, those bigger shops, supermarkets, the liquor section, I think they're closed. Oh, okay. But people still wanted to drink alcohol. So they're, they know where, where to go. Okay. Like which stores will still yeah. like secretly sell yeah, beers like, and stuff. Yeah. I think usually those smaller shops owners so alcohol anyway. Oh, okay. Interesting. So yes, yes, yes. Interesting. So in Thailand, can you drink? Obviously, you cannot drink on like festival days or whatever. But normally, can you drink on the street, in public? In public, I never tried, but I don't think so. Okay. I'm I'm scared to try it. <laughs> yeah, it's better to to not do things if you don't know what the rule of the country right, is. Right, right. <laughs> Some tourists, I think they would do it anyway. Mm, mm. I'm not the type of person, so um, I just bought a uh, one beer can, uh, maybe two. On the day I I shouldn't buy uh, alcohol. Okay, <laughs> that's not too bad though. <laughs> but that's Thailand. Thailand is not really like super religious. They're Buddhist, but they're not like super super religious. Um, when I went to Malaysia, the whole country is dry because mm. it's a it's a Muslim country. Uh -huh. No one drinks alcohol, yes, except tourists. Uh -huh. There's some restaurants in the Malaysian Twin Tower thing mm. uh, where you can get alcohol if you're a tourist. They mm. probably won't sell it to you if you're native Malaysian, but they uh -huh. will sell it to you if you're clearly a tourist I and you see. can get beers and stuff. I see. Um, but otherwise, yeah, like no one in Malaysia drinks. You know what's interesting? The American once banned all alcohol. Aha, uh -huh. yes, we did. We have a period of history. Yeah. Where yeah. no alcohol was allowed to be yeah. sold, right? Kinshu Hall, right? Yes, that's Prohibition. right. Prohibition. Prohibition, right. Yes. Uh, can we talk a little bit about this? Sure. I don't know a lot about it, but yes, we can talk about mm. it, of course. The reason because of this prohibition is simply alcohol was dangerous. So it lasted 13 years. Yeah, it was quite long. Yes. It was a long time. So people couldn't buy or sell any alcohol from 1920 to 1933. That's right. Yeah. Uh, supposedly. 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 <laughs> but actually, during this time, from like 1920 until 1933, when the prohibition was going on, uh, what happened was the people living in the mountainous areas, mm -hmm. like the Appalachian Mountains, learned and started making what they call moonshine. Mm -hmm. A moonshine is an illegal, very, very strong alcohol. It's kind of like vodka, mm -hmm. except it's made from, I think it's made from corn. Corn. Um, and you know, they were, they were making, maybe it's not corn, I can't remember what it's made from. Anyway, yeah. they were making alcohol illegally and selling it illegally, secretly. Mm. So it's kind of this underground black market for alcohol that mm. was very strong. I didn't know about this. You, you could make uh, alcohol from corns. Anyway, some kind of, it's a clear liquid that they would secretly make. Okay. So I think like the reason alcohol was considered dangerous you have to remember, even though like politically, the government is not a Christian government, mm. but most of the people who settled in, in America were Christians. Mm. Uh, they were Protestant. 
And so the basis of American society is Christian, Christianity. Mm. And so that's why we don't, even now, we don't sell alcohol on Sundays. So I think at that time, maybe there was like a, a strengthening of Christian values. And they thought that alcohol would lead to like dangerous moral problems. And so they prohibited it. I see. <laughs> but I mean, obviously that's just someone's mm. idea. Yes. <laughs> During this time, people made a secret bars uh-huh. and th- those bars are hidden sometimes behind bookshelves Ooh. or in a basement Ooh, yeah i didn't know about behind a bookshelf <laughs> that's a very western <laughs> you know <laughs> thing is to have a secret door behind your bookshelf or this swinging bookshelf that rotates and you have a secret passage it's a very western thing uh, <laughs> oh i i imagine like a if you pull out one of a book from uh, the bookshelf, mm-hmm. like uh, suddenly the bookshelf itself moves. Yeah, 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 exactly. That kind of thing. And then the secret doors appears. And yeah. then I thought about this. Yeah, but that's a very Western thing. Probably like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we talk about prohibition. Yes, prohibition. And the moonshine. Mm-hmm. You know, these are related to banning alcohol. Yes, in America. In America. That's right. Prohibition. Uh, do you know about a bootleg? Bootleg. Uh huh. That's a good word to introduce. Yeah. Bootleg. Bootleg. What does that mean in Japanese? Mitsuzo sareta mono. Mitsuyu sareta mono. Okay. So, like, moonshine is a bootleg alcohol. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, I saw these bootlegs at the CD and record stores in Japan. Mm hmm. There's like, a, you know, how I don't know how they made this bootleg records, but like I remember there was a CD shop in our lo- in our city, and then you can buy uh, Nirvana's secret recorded CDs. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> yes, it's more rough, it, and it's more uh, the sound is more intense and a little bit laugh. Okay, but I really, really, I was really excited to listen to it yeah i think that would be cool that would be very cool like a bootleg version of yeah nowadays that would be highly highly illegal (laughs) if you get into trouble for even having a bootleg (laughs) but i think some big artist like taylor swift you can actually film her with your phone okay she you mean she allows it yes i think she allows it really Yes, I think so. For the purpose of uh, reach out to more people on social media. Okay, so like she's basically having her fans PR for her. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes great sense. <laughs> but that's how bootlegs are born too. Like someone would stand there with their phone, film the entire live show or the concert, and then upload it and start making money. Right? Yeah. That's exactly how bootlegs are made. Oh, just remember one thing. Mm-hmm. Can I talk about this? Sure. This was maybe happening in 2000, around 2008. At the time, Everyone wanted to watch free movies on mm-hmm. the internet, mm-hmm. but we, some people shared files on the internet. Yes. And some illegal guys was filming the movie in a theater, movie ah, theater. Ah, yes, yes, yes. With like a professional equi- equipment. Oh, really? Not like with a smartphone or no, something? No, 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 no. Like they bring on equipment in the movie theater and I started filming the video uh, movie itself. Well, that's why we get, like when you go to the movie theater now, you get the announcement saying, uh, no, ega adorable, kind of <laughs> the, like that, right? In the Toho cinemas, right? That, so that's what that's from. Yeah. It's people making bootleg videos yes. of movies. Yes. Wow. Well, there's, there's like a huge market for that, actually, in some countries. Yes. Uh, and I won't say which countries specifically but you can go abroad and like travel and and find those for sale in like the markets and stuff yes i have one last question on understand do okay. strict rules make people follow them or break them Ooh, depends on the country but i'm gonna say both okay how about japan japan probably follows them okay americans it's about half and half <laughs> 
half and half. <laughs> sounds sounds right. Well, most Americans are fine, but like some people chafe when they feel there's too many rules. Okay. And they, they deliberately go out to break rules if they feel that there's too many rules. Okay. Um, Japanese people tend to follow rules, like 99.9999% will follow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, I hope Shibuya Halloween party is going to be uh, safer this year. Well, we're going to find out in a few days, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Can't be worse than it was, you know, the year they okay. flipped that truck over. That was a horrible year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a post-apocalypse. That was insane. It was like, yeah, it was like watching a... Uh, a video clip of you know some country in war. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, very weird. <laughs> All right, guys, we talked a lot about uh, this new rules about yeah. you know burning alcohol outside. Yeah, in Shibuya and Shibuya. Shinjuku. Yes. Okay, that's all for this episode. But don't forget to catch our next one. This is Crosstalk signing off, bringing you English your way every week. Keep listening and keep shining. Bye. Bye.